They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You'll find your family more than. It's Poppy O'Hare, twin sister to Holly O'Hare, and daughter of Rapunzel. And it's her first day at Ever After High. She doesn't have a legacy. Holly got the Rapunzel legacy because she's older by a hair. You always get to say the interesting part. Have you decided on your classes? I'm sorry, but no. On one hand, magicology sounds like a blast, literally. But hero training sounds excellent, too. Who wouldn't want to spar with a dragon? Well, Poppy, you must choose today. Classes start tomorrow. How'd it go with Baba Yaga? I kind of got thrown for a loop. She said I had to choose a destiny by the end of the day. Maybe it'll help if you ask everyone what they love about their sides of the story. Thanks, Holly. You're fabulous. Being a royal isn't easy. You have to work hard to keep your kingdom happy. But you do get to date princes and live in enchanting castles. Of course, you may have to eat a poison apple to get there. If you're a rebel, you don't have to be bad or dislike beanstalks or the people who climb them. Well, if you're a royal, you live every day to its fullest. <laughs> but isn't it more important to be who you want and not hide who you really are? Totally wicked point. Who did your highlights? Um, my mom, uh, gotta go. So... Have you made your choice? Well, I've decided. I'm not gonna decide on a side. <gasps> Wait a spell. You must choose something. After talking with everyone, it's clear. Being a rebel or a royal is totally exciting. So, I'm gonna flip the script and choose both sides. I like your style. I've been trying to decide my best side, and I choose both, too. <laughs> Cerise Hood was in a wonderful mood. <laughs> Not even a nearsighted prince could set her off today. She let the billy goat's gruff cut in front of her at the castle Tyria. And she even let Raven Queen try to fix her mirror phone. No worries, Raven. Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen you this happy. My parents and I are going to have a picnic in the enchanted forest after school. That's wicked! But what if someone sees you? That would kind of blow down your whole secret. Hi, Mr. Bad Wolf. <laughs> Out of my way! <sighs> I know he's a professor, but that is not right. He thinks he's so big and bad. It's okay, Hunter. As a huntsman, I am sworn to protect helpless damsels. <sighs> Were you offended by damsels or helpless? <gasps> Cerise! My, how you've grown! Let go of her, foul beast! Foul? You will not terrorize this fair, but not helpless, Riding Hood! <sighs> it's the big bad wolf! Save us, Hunter! Oh, yes! Save us! Arr. Yeah! Don't hurt me, you heroic huntsman. Ah! The beast has been vanquished. Thanks, you're the best. All in a day's work for a huntsman. And now I'm here. He's gone. Oh, yeah. Did you remember the bacon potato salad? Oh, I love that stuff. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Today, I'll be reviewing that bookend favorite, the Wonderland Haberdashery and Tea Shop. Blondie Locks is coming here. She's the toughest critic ever after. We've got some time. Maybe we could tone down the, you know, wonder. Aren't you just the cutest little... <laughs> we better get to work. If you guys say so. Oh. Oh, 
Welcome to the Wonderland Haberdashery and Tea Shop. I have to say, Maddie, this is not exactly what I expected. Well, this is it. My family's tea shop. No wonder our madness here. What can I get you? Hmm. Um, I think I'll have the charmed chai tea and a Wonderland nut bar. Can I get a refill? Sure. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> is that a floating tea kettle? Yes, it is! <laughs> oh, there's so much more madness and wonder to discover here! These clocks all keep the wrong time, and those doors transport you to new and wonderific places. <laughs> and this is the real Wonderland haberdashery and tea shop, and I don't care if we get a bad review, because to me, this place is fantastic! Huh. At first, the Wonderland haberdashery and tea shop seemed boring. But then, they let loose the madness, and it became ever after awesome! This tea shop is just right! Yeah! yeah. Aww, aren't you adorable? No way! <laughs> Tale friends to spring at Ever After High. Where following their true hearts is the only thing on students' minds. Royals with royals and rebels with rebels. Well, it may not be as straightforward as that. Look at Hunter and Ashley. don't always move in the same direction. Cupid and Dexter, charming. Oh. Cupid and Dexy. <gasps> hey, Cupid. Anyone sitting here? Yes. I mean, no. Should sit there. Thanks. Shh. Quiet in the library. The evil step librarians are so wicked. Yeah. Last week they made me recatalog the entire forbidden book section. <laughs> Shh. Well, look what I found. <gasps> the history of True Hearts Day. Thanks, Dex. You are such a sweet. Shh. And so. Each time a fairy tale is told. Headmaster! My dear, I am writing my speech for... Love never waits. What are you going on about? True Hearts Day! Where <clears throat> did you find that? It tells all about this totally excellent holiday that encourages everyone to follow their true heart's desire. But it hasn't been celebrated in years. And <gasps> never will be again. That holiday is dangerous. But... Some students might see it as a sign to break from their destinies. Maybe True Hearts Day is... <clears throat> you are not to talk about this to anyone. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I won't say a thing. True Hearts Day? I don't get it. <gasps> Charades! 48 words. A holiday that used to be celebrated in the fairy tale world that encourages us to follow our true heart's desire, but Headmaster Grimm doesn't want anyone to know about it, but you think we should celebrate it anyway and throw a secret underground True Hearts Day dance? Why didn't you just say that? Cuz Headmaster Grimm told me not to say anything. Secret dance? What if Grimm catches us? He won't. Come on, it'll be happily ever awesome. I do throw the most excellent parties. Yay! We're having a secret True Hearts Day dance. Secret True Hearts Day dance. Secret True Hearts Day dance. Um, you might not want to shout that. You know, being a secret and all. Oh. In the fairy tale. Whoa. Whoa. 
Stop that! Come on! They went this Go. way! I'm finally gonna get some proof! Why do you even care? I care because it's not fair. Ashlyn is breaking the royal rules with her secret romance, but she still gets a happily ever after, and I don't! So you got a plan? I mean, it's not like we're just gonna find them in some romantic moment. Oh, hey, Duchess! Sparrow! We didn't see you! <laughs> What's going on? You two are totally busted! Ashlyn, Hunter, I think the real question is, what are you two doing here? Having a secret romantic rendezvous? We gotta find a better place to picnic. Please! You two can't tell anyone Hunter and I are secretly dating! Um, yeah, wow, well, I'm gonna. Ash, this is gonna knock you down the royal rankings. But don't worry, I'll take your place. And you're happily ever after. <laughs> Bummer, Princess to be. Ah! Whoa, whoa, Stop whoa. that! Now, my love tale friends, this is the part of the mirror cast where I try to solve your romantic problems. So, fragile in Fairyland, what's in your heart? Um, well, uh, I... Dex? I kind of, uh... No, I, I do. I do have a crush on this girl named Raven. Raven Queen? You have a crush on Raven Queen? <gasps> I, I mean, Rachel! Rachel, yeah, I like a girl named Rachel. Okay, Rachel. So you like her. What's the problem? Well, whenever I'm around her, I get really, uh, tongue-tied. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, how about putting down your feelings on parchment? That is a great idea! I'll write her a love poem! <gasps> oh, uh, <clears throat> thanks, Cupid. You're the best. Bye. No problem. <sighs> it's oh, a boy! <laughs> Aren't you just totally excited? It used to be such an important holiday on the royal calendar. Huh, love. Finding our predetermined princes. Um, sure, yeah. Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? You can tell me. I mean, we are friends forever after. I'm not sure you'd understand. What? Is it boy trouble? Oh, wow, hey, I am thirsty. Um, I'm gonna go get us a couple hocus lattes. Double foam, extra apple caramel, right? Ah, uh, you work here. I want these in a size 74. Oh. And so Dexter finished his True Hearts poem for Raven. Now he just had to wait for a response. What's this? It's a love poem. Oh, a secret note! Is there anything more hat-tastic? But who's it from? D. Charming. <laughs> Ladies? Daring? I had no idea he felt this way. Sup, brother? Oh, Gord. Love is very... Complicated. Yes, complicated. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different...